What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of After Effects, and this is the new CC 2015 version, and already I've run into an issue that seems to be an issue with the release of the 2015 version, and that is the dynamic link between After Effects and Media Encoder. And let me show you what I'm referring to. So we got our project right here. Simple animation, no big deal. Okay, so let's come over here to composition and then add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. Can't talk. And we get this uh, error right here. AEGP plugin AE dynamic link server. Adobe Media Encoder is not installed. Please download and install it and then use the feature go to whatever. So we click on OK, and then it gives us this error as well. It said that it failed to connect to the Adobe Media Encoder. Okay, so what uh, seems to be the issue is that uh, this may not happen if you install uh, the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite into the default location, which is going to be C Program Files Adobe. However, I've got mine installed into my H drive. I believe it's my H drive. Yep, it's my H drive. So that's where I've got it installed is right in here. So um, what we can do is that I found uh, some information here, and that is we create an MK link. Now, this is only on Windows. This is not on Mac. This is only on Windows. And uh, so I'm pretty sure that you Mac users uh, shouldn't have this problem because most Mac users install into the default location anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and come over here. Let's uh, go to Command, right click on it, and run as administrator. Choose yes. And now what we want to do is that we want to get to the location where we got it installed, and that's going to be our H drive, Adobe 2015, and Media Encoder. And then we want to basically copy this, control C, come down. Let's go ahead and let's open up a notepad. Okay, we want to type in MK link and then slash J. And now we want to type in the uh, location. And then paste there. So this is going to be where it originally is. And it's going to be like so. So this is where it originally is supposed to be at. It's supposed to be inside of C program files, Adobe, Adobe Media Encoder, CT2015. However, we've got it in this location here, H, Adobe 2015, Adobe Media Encoder, CC2015. So this is where it's at. And so what we're going to do is that we're going to copy this, come over, right click, go down to edit and paste. It's going to paste it in. So now let's click on enter. Uh, junction created for C program files, Adobe, Adobe Mini Encoder, CC 2015, H, Adobe 2015, Adobe Mini Encoder. So what this basically did is that it created a link between our C drive, right here, C program files, Adobe, into our H, Adobe. So now, okay, we just rebooted After Effects. So let's come over here, go to Composition, and let's go down to Add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. And there we go. Everything works like it's supposed to work. So we need to restart Adobe After Effects after we make our, um, our change here with this information with creating the MK link. So uh, there we go. Uh, and now it's got it right here so that we can actually go in here and uh, work with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose to remove it. Okay, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net instead of Adobe After Effects and Adobe Media Cutter 2015 of the Creative Cloud with an issue that really needs to be resolved. But until that time comes, we've got this taken care of. Alright, y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.